Hey guys, I'm Kyle with Rhino. In this video, we're gonna talk about Rhino Focus, how to install it, how to set up keyframes with it, and answer the question, why should you use Focus if you have an autofocus camera? So first off, Focus is an optional accessory for Rhino Arc 2. Um, what it comes with is the actual Focus motor, which plugs into Arc 2. It's not standalone, so you need Arc 2 to power this. You get a foot long ethernet jack, and then you also get a lens gear, which I'll show you in a minute, if your lenses don't have standard cinema pitch gears on them already. So to install it, put the carbon fiber rod through the hole in the tilt arm of Arc 2. Make sure this lever is opened. Make sure the Arc 2 is off. And then it pivots and it slides depending on the size and position of your lens. So what you wanna do is just make it touch real nice on your focus lens gear and tighten it up. That's really all you have to do. Next up, I'll plug it in and let's boot up Arc 2 and I'll show you how to set up keyframes on it. All right, so let's set up a two point move here. It's pretty simple. I'm gonna look over here at this light, move my slider over, look down at the light here. And then looking at my screen, the way that you control focus with the hardware is the front joystick. And so I'm gonna move the front joystick up and down to control my focus here. All right, that looks about good. I'll set this keyframe and let's move to the other end of my slider to set my other keyframe. Now focus is especially nice when you're doing punch in shots like this, especially if you have a really shallow depth of field. All right, my focus looks good in my second keyframe. Let's make this move fairly quick. Do a six second move. What it's gonna do is it's gonna move to start you can see that focus changes back to its first keyframe position. All right, let's go ahead and start our move so we can see the focus pull. That's perfect. The light stayed in focus the entire time. So to answer the question for you about why you need focus when you ha might have an autofocus lens, most of the time an autofocus lens, if you have a quality autofocus camera, like a Canon with dual pixel autofocus or Sony's new autofocus mechanism, those work extremely well, especially when you're filming a face or even eyes now where it can track eyes and keep them in focus, which is really what you want. But if you don't have that and you're doing more of a planned precise move, which is typically what sliders are for, being able to keyframe your focus is invaluable. Now, another use for it is when you're shooting a time-lapse. I personally love time-lapse. And one of the anecdotes that I've said from the beginning of Rhino is I wanna be able to film a flower to a Milky Way from day to night with four axes. And so what that gives me is I can rack focus from a flower all the way to the stars in the middle of the night and be able to accomplish that time-lapse. You can't do that without a focus controller. So let me show you now that we're talking about time-lapse, if you're not using a cinema lens, how to use focus with a normal lens. All right, so what I have here is a Canon 6D with a Tokina 11 to 16 lens. I am a Sony guy, but I'm using all three of my Sonys to film this. So this is kind of my backup cam and my backup time-lapsing lens, uh, but it's a fantastic system. So if you're using a lens like this that doesn't have a cinema pitch gear built into it, like the Rockinons or a higher end cinema lens, we give you this lens gear with focus. It's rubber and it straps onto the lens very, very easily. The only tip I have for you when you're putting this on is you don't want the connection where this goes together to go where the gear is going to end up on focus. Um, so you kind of have to plan it right. So most of the time I'm racking from say here to here. So I know that if I put the lens gear on this side of the lens, I'm gonna be pretty safe. All right, install it like so. And then you can use focus, press, lock it down, and we're good to go. Uh, if you have any questions about compatibility, we designed it to be used with lower cameras like this or like an A6300, which has a really low lens mount. 
all the way up to cinema cameras like the RED, which have a higher lens mount from the bottom of the camera. Um, we'll post a list on the website of what we approve. It's about 95% of cameras that we've tested. So let's set up a move so you can see how this works with the lens gear. I'll do the same thing. Make sure focus is looking good. Move to start. It's as simple as that. So if you think that focus will be a helpful addition in your workflow to be able to get the shot faster and easier, maybe on the first time, please check it out on the website. If you have any questions at all, watch the rest of our videos or reach out to support at rhinocg.com.